Slade so on the IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm on the O2 Arena today for the Summertime Brawl Show. With me, I've got the new English title holder, Ted Cheddar Cheeseman. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm over the man. Really feeling good, feeling on top of the world at the minute. Uh, three rounds it took you to finish Matty Ryan. Um, it is what it is. How did you find the fight? Um, do you know what? I'll to be totally honest with you. I, I come out there, first minute, I was thinking, is he going to be a bit awkward? And I've been watching him and he had been coming forward all these fights and I see straight away he's on his back foot. I think, in my head, the game plan was try and get him over three or four rounds and he might blow up, blow up a bit. Because last fight when I fought Jack Sillers, I come out like a Rolls Royce first three rounds, knocked him down. But I tried too hard to get what I mean. I tried too hard to get him out of there. But this time, I, I think at the end of the first round, I knew I had his number. And I thought I can get him out any time here if I start like pushing on. I didn't want to rush it and um, doing make any mistakes. So I was just working on my slips, working on my rolling in close. And it just um, planned out perfectly and I landed the shots and it went. Was well, he three rounds? It's not, not too much for you. I mean, were you expecting a longer fight? I'm not sure. Um, beforehand I was because I was all I was thinking is I'm going to take my time better this time and I'm going to um, push on. I'm going to um, try and take my time and um, let him wear himself down instead of me trying too hard and wear him my, myself down. And then he... Um, Excuse me. Take it home for a week. Yeah. Get some photographs with him. We'll get it back off. Yeah. What do? I, how do I keep it? You got to buy one. How much? One. Just call, I don't know, call me in the office. Yeah. All right. Get it out. Um, get it out right now. Yeah. Go on. Let's see what you got. Hard work. It's like when you're at Christmas opening a present. So is it alright to jump in with it? Oh. I'm going to say nothing. I'm just proud of it. I just. Your old man. This is surreal for me. That's, a new, that's my new English belt. Um, yes, yeah, but um, I, like the last fight gave me the all the experience I needed. And it took me back to the gym, I worked and stuff. I was, blo like, I was trying to blow people out of there because obviously coming up through journeyman, I blew out Lord Elliot in two rounds and I thought, you know what, I can get everyone out there easy. That's what comes in your head, you just get that mindset. And that's what I've done with Jack Sillers. And if I would have took my time like I did today, I think I would have got Jack Sillers out of it as well. But it's gave no disrespect to Jack Sillers, he's a tough, tough fighter. But it's, that gave me the experience and I've gone back to the gym and worked on stuff. And now this fight, I showed how much I've come on leaps and bounds and performed picture perfect. Obviously, I told you before that I spoke to a few boxers at Box with Amateur and they said that yeah. from day one, you was the one running day, noon and night when you didn't need to, training the hardest. Your old man has seen it. Um, how hard has he trained since, since, since he was a youth? 12 years of age, he was going at five, six in the morning, running, running, running. Ridiculous, I've not got that sort of get up and go about me. But he's done it all on his own back. I can't take no credit, it's all about him. He's worked hard all his life, he gave up his youth for this. And he's starting to reap the benefits now, he deserves it. They say you're uh, reaping the fruits of your award. Um, you got the English. I know that's not where you want to stop. Nah. Um, what's next? Um, I think tonight I showed that I'm already past this level, and that I, like I f as long as Liam Williams vacates the British, I think I should win the British by the end of the year. Do you know what I mean? I'll, obviously, I can't jump ahead of myself. All right, Matthew Ryan's a good fighter, but he is that English sort of the English level. And I showed tonight how I wiped the floor with Matthew Ryan and made it look easy. Um, how did you assist your own performance? I, mean, I, I spoke to you before, but tonight Matthew Ryan was the man that's been in front of you for your British title eliminator, for your English title fight. Yeah. Does that show that your level's above the domestic scene? Yeah and no, because obviously different fighters, different styles. But I showed tonight that all the boys in the other eliminator know that I'm pushing on and, and they're going to be in for an hard fight, whether it's for the final eliminate or, or it's for the British title. I think everyone knows now nah, I've put my name out there in the Super Waterweight division in the domestic scene and I'm shouting, I'm ready to start pushing on. All right, well, Ted, listen, you won the English tonight. I mean, till now you've done nothing wrong. I mean, yeah. there's no slip ups. Yeah. It is what it is. I mean, no, it, was, no. it was written. He yeah. won his first ABA title against a boy from Manchester, Eric Sutton. 
and he's won his first pro title, English title, against a boy from Manchester. Again, yeah. it was meant to be. Yeah. Is it meant to be good? Yeah, I'm 9 0 with seven knockouts. I'm 21 years old, I'm English champion. I mean, lying near enough for the British title, so. What more can I do? Do you know what I mean? Can you imagine it? Going to fight for a vacant British title. This is all surreal fights. for us. It's so surreal. surreal. Yeah. The Bermondsey boy. The Bermondsey yeah. bomber. Exactly. Coming back. Making a comeback. From nothing to something. To be fair, mate, Mill <laughs> Mill will go in something, get not they? Yeah, of course. No, they've gone up and I've won a title, so. Things are, back, th things are on the up in Bermondsey. It's sunny in South London right now. That's it what is, we know. It's sunny in South yeah. London. All right, well, listen, Ted. Well done tonight, congratulations on winning your English title. Um, I'm sure I'll catch up with you soon, but until then, Ted. So thanks for all, all, all the sponsors who, who have sponsored me to now, and thanks for all the, everyone who's continued their support, who've come to support me. Thanks a lot. All right, cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toby. Come on.